All right, boys and girls, thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel. We are here with Mookie from Spikes Tactical up here at the Aim High Shooting Center in Columbus, Ohio. What are you doing up here, man? You Florida boys all the way up north. Well, actually, first, I think this is actually New Albany, which is absolutely beautiful this time it of is. year. Um, there's nowhere else in America where you have this smell of fresh cut grass and clove. And I grew up in Ohio and I actually miss this. I don't miss anything else about Ohio, but I miss this. Um, this is an awesome gun range. They've got uh, two indoor, well ventilated gun ranges. They've got a good selection of guns and stuff here. Again, that's Aim High in New Albany, Ohio. Um, they've been a great host to us. And uh, I'm on my no layoffs tour. So as you all know, we won the election, we saved America, and destroyed the industry. Oh, it is what it is. Um, well, I, I, I make and sell ARs, uh, great value for the dollar ARs, if I may say so, and uh, even we are hurting. And we're a small family-owned business out of Apopka, Florida, and uh, it's hurting us, and it's gonna hurt our community. Um, so, I mean, I get it. I wouldn't trade things at all with the election results, but it has hurt us. So I'm out here connecting with customers and with the sales force, educating them, training them on our product, making sure that they know that we have a lifetime warranty on all of our products and that we are, uh, you know, we're working class people. We're not a big cold company. We're not, share, you know, we're not owned by Freedom Group or anything like that. We're just working class people like you. So I hopped in a truck and I'm driving across America and uh, I'm on my way to Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Believe Land, if you will. I'm going to <laughs> Springfield, Missouri, New Orleans, because I like to get crunk, and uh, Baton Rouge, because I love the guys at Atlas. Those are good dudes down there. They're awesome. They have one of my short barrel rifles. Joe, where's my AK? Bro? Joe Moe, make that AK happen, baby. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you want me to ask him about it when I'm there? Yeah, ask I'll get him. pictures with it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll go shoot it. Oh, okay, that, I, I would actually, I would hang that on my wall. I really would. Dude. Um, you guys brought lots of guns with you guys. We did. I got to, I got to shoot some of them. They're, they're a ton of fun. A what? Go. A couple of them, we, uh, we did review the Brown Recluse previously. That's a fun gun, man. That thing is just a, and it, I tell you what, on an indoor range, that's what you need right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's funny. Uh, I. I you know, I had a budget of X amount of thousands of dollars for this trip, and my boss was in it, the office the day I left, so I went in the ammo room and cleaned it out. <laughs> um, sorry, man. So I got like 9,000 rounds worth of ammo, and we're almost all gone because people really like shooting at 9 milli. Uh, again, that's the recluse, and uh, it's a big so We got our 308 Roadhouse. Mm -hmm. Do you know why it's called the Roadhouse? I do not. Okay. First of all, we developed the 308, and you have to name a gun, right? You have to to sell it even if it's just like a number. And it's easy to name guns until you try to do it. it Cause you know, it's gotta be cool without trying to sound cool. And it's like naming your kid. Well, we had an employee named Dalton Cox, came to work for us when he was 18, uh, sweeping up, cleaning toilets. He busted his ass, proved to be honest and hardworking. He ended up our small parts build manager. He built all of our bulk carrier groups for years. And he died in a car accident. Well, motorcycle accident. I heard about this. Yeah. It broke us. It hurt. It He's hurt us. Yes, he was. And uh, he always wanted to be famous. He always wanted to be in videos. And this is cool. His mom and dad liked the movie Roadhouse so much. They named their son Dalton. You know Dalton. You're like, ha! <laughs> Kick you in the head, Dalton. <laughs> and uh, so we were going to name it Dalton Cox, but we didn't want to dance in the blood. We didn't want to profit off his loss. So we cut it in the middle and we named it the Roadhouse. So if you're wondering why anyone would name the gun Roadhouse, it's because we love Dalton Cox. And, uh, you know, just bring it back. We're a family-owned business. Hit, losing him hurt us. Uh, we won the election, and then our business, you know, went like everybody else. So it's been a rough year for us. So if you're out there and you uh, sell ARs for a living, if you have a gun store, if you're a manufacturer, keep your chin up and hustle and grind. Absolutely. It's good Buddy. to see you. Thank you for bringing all that stuff up here. Thank you for doing what you're doing, traveling around. Um, I don't get to see you very often. Only, <laughs> only, and it's always at an industry event. Like, hey, dude, hey, yeah. I gotta go this way. I'm going that way. No, no. I tell my wife. My wife's like, oh, did you see so and so? I'm like, no. When we're at Shot Show or NRA, it's like, yo, Playboy, <laughs> and that's it. You, we don't get to hang out except for like, my boss will be like. What did you spend at the restaurant? And I go, that's the only time I get to hang out with our industry friends. Remember that one Italian place we went at? Oh, my gosh. We got, well, dude, we had a good time. Yeah, we did. We that, had a good time. That was the last time. I've, I haven't had Italian food since because Buca is where it's at, man. Yeah, they, we killed it. There's one in Columbus. There's a Buca in Columbus. Uh-oh. <laughs> that credit card's going to smoke. Sorry, guys. <laughs>
Ben, thank you very much, brother. Dude, thanks for coming out here. I appreciate it. Aim high, New Albany, Ohio. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> that's good stuff, brother. Ugh. That'll make a good video. Whenever he leaves his notebook out, I draw lewd 